everyone! In this video, we will go over setting up content templates within your settings. We will cover what content templates are, their purpose, where to create and edit, types of content template folders, and how to insert a content template into a document. Content templates allow you to insert saved information when you are creating event documents. This is most commonly saved text or images. This is going to save you a good amount of time for frequently used notes and photos, as you do not need to manually input them each time. They can be easily dropped into documents as well as discussions. Popular examples of content templates are setup notes, timeline notes, and terms and conditions. Each content template is able to include text, photos, hyperlinks, tables, and more. To create a content template, I will need the appropriate settings access. With that access, I can head into settings, scroll down, and select content templates. First, I can add a content template folder. Here, I can see room setup, timeline, and terms and conditions are already set up as folders. I also have the option to show deleted content template folders. I can either add a completely new folder here, or I can click into an existing folder to add a template. Typically, these folders are separated by type of content template. For example, when I am adding the setup notes on the front end in our example from earlier, I knew to go into room setup for the template I needed. So I'll go ahead and add a new room setup content template. Here, I can adjust the name of the folder, and on the right, I can adjust which locations can access this template. I want to note that if locations do share these templates, the edits made will affect all locations who share it moving forward. Again, I have the option to show deleted content templates. If my location uses booking docs, I will have the option to apply this content template to only booking docs. I can edit the existing content templates within the room setup by clicking edit on the right hand side, such as editing the 16 tables template that I selected earlier. I also have the option to add a new template by clicking this button right here. First, I'll give this a name. The name should describe exactly what is in the template for our users to select on the front end. The content is what will autofill on the event documents when selected. Here, I can add text or have photos default into my content templates by clicking on this icon. I can also insert photos from the file library. Once selected, I can resize the image if needed, or once it's been added, I can manually adjust the sizing. Next, I'll add some additional text at the bottom. I can stylize the text by making any part of it bold, underline, or italicized. I can also adjust the alignment of the text or insert headers by clicking on formats. To best organize the text, I can bullet or number it. I can adjust the indentation of the text, adjust the size, and add color or highlight. I will make sure to click save when I'm done. Another popular use of content templates is with terms and conditions. If my location uses multiple sets of terms and conditions per event, these can be stored here as separate content templates for example, social and corporate terms and conditions. As I can use merge fields to autofill information such as location name and event details, these templates are easy to share across multiple locations. Now, the next time I am building a set of event documents, I can click on that templates button on any text box and drop in my newly added template. I can also make any edits to this template once it is selected and in your documents, and it will not affect my settings. Note, if I make any changes to content templates, 
It will not affect any events that already have the template in their documents. It will only affect events moving forward. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to the support team, support at triplec.com, or by clicking the help question button on the top right corner of any screen in Triple C.